Speaking of oil, we're watching a story in the energy space today. ExxonMobil reportedly considering, or actually actually buying, uh, oil and gas producer Denbury. Um, so what else do we know there? Interestingly, we haven't seen that much of an increase in Denbury. But what Denbury really does here is carbon capture, right? It has CO2 pipelines in the U.S. Yeah, that's right. Its biggest asset is that CO2 pipeline network uh, that runs through Louisiana, through Mississippi, through Texas. And these are big air areas where with a lot of industry, a lot of big polluters. So you put that carbon uh, into these pipelines. And uh, in the past, Danbury has used that CO2 to recover more oil. Now they can store that CO2 underground safely, permanently reducing emissions from the atmosphere. Uh, it's a logical acquisition, really, if you think about it, for ExxonMobil to go this route in order to be reducing carbon emissions. And this is a big turnaround for this company because you, mis you mentioned that the stock price hasn't really, it's, it's down slightly. Well, this is a company with a $4.4 billion market cap. Uh, the deal would be for, to, for Exxon to buy Danbury for $89.45 per share. So you can see uh, there that right now it's trading at around $87 per share. But also, this is a company that had gone bankrupt at one point. It exited bankruptcy. Uh, it went bankrupt when oil prices really plunged uh, at the beginning of the pandemic. Uh, it, since then, its stock price has gone up fourfold. So the stock price completely skyrocketing over the last, look at this, three years up 30 at 381%. And what's interesting about this deal also is that the Inflation Act of last year, that law that went into effect, that has created tax incentives for companies to, carp, uh, to, cap to capture CO2 emissions, to store them underground and to not uh, pollute the atmosphere. Yeah, really interesting move here, and we'll continue to watch uh, Exxon's moves on that front. Thanks, Ines.